Welcome to this week's Strictly Insider. We're now halfway through the series and the competition is getting fiercer each week. Helen and Gorka wowed the judges with their super cool jive, while Hamza and Yuvita topped the leaderboard with their slick cha-cha. But it was Ellie and Nikita who waved goodbye to their Strictly journey after being voted off by the judges following the dreaded dance-off. We're joined by former Strictly finalist and step star Faye Toza to break down week seven. So sadly, Ellie and Nikita left on Saturday night, Sunday night. Um, do you think the right couple went home? What did you think of the dance off? So it's really difficult at this stage because lots of twists and changes in the plot happen. I think um, it probably was the right choice for danceability, um, but for popularity and what Ellie has overcome in being in this competition, um, she was such a joy. And I actually sent her a private message just to say well done and she went out with a bang because it was such a great performance. But it depends how you see the competition now because is it popularity or is it about danceability? I mean, there's lots of things going on at the moment, right? Definitely. And you know, Molly and Carlos were also in the bottom two. Was that a shock? And and what do you think they could do to kind of bounce back? Because they've been scoring, you know, amazingly well with the judges. I know. And again, at this time in the competition, it's down to people voting. People need to get on the phones and vote for their favourites. It's so unpredictable. I feel like every year you just can never call where each week is going to go, isn't it? It really is. And having been there myself and standing there every week waiting to see that red light or not, it's absolutely terrifying. And, you know, you're never safe. Whatever you do, whatever the judges score scores are, you're never safe. So, mm. um, yeah, it could be anyone's. But this has been a really interesting year, actually, because people who I didn't expect to fly or improve so much have come back with some incredible dances. I've got to say, um, Kim... Uh, and Graziano I mean that was so stunning it was flawless it was such yeah. a beautiful performance yeah. and I didn't I didn't know that they had that in them and that mm. was such a lovely mm. surprise well we were going to ask well, who was your standout star from Saturday night and would you say it was Kim and Graziano definitely definitely that choreography and the way they worked together it was it just looked flawless it was just absolutely beautiful it was spine tingling I loved it Ellie and Jojo, I mean, Joe is one of my favourite pros of all time. He is so, so glorious to watch. Um, but the rumba is probably one of the hardest dances um, for anybody to do who's not experienced in ballroom. I mean, mm. I know that when I did my rumba, it feels like you're doing everything, but on screen, it looks like you're doing nothing. <laughs> it's really, really tough one. Um, but again, it's about people voting. And I think people love to see those two. I love to see the, those two, their personalities and the joy that comes out of the screen when you watch them, you know, people want them back. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And I think Absolutely. they're, they're such a good, they're such a good partnership. I feel like their personalities yeah. and their sense of humour really, really match as well. So it yeah. just makes them so likeable, doesn't it? Mm, exactly. Um, and the same, okay, so this, if we're talking about that, and the same with Katia and Tony. I mean, yeah. this was one of the biggest surprises. And I know I've been watching um, social media and especially Twitter as well. And there's a lot of people who just want to see Tony carry on because of his personality. Yeah. He's got such a huge mm -hmm. fan base, you know. And for me, I think Katia is probably one of the best choreographers out the pros that they have on Strictly. I'm such a huge fan of hers. Um, so again, that was a big surprise. I think everyone was expecting him to potentially be in the bottom for the dance off and um, he flew through. So who do you think could be in trouble this week that might have to really up their game? Oh gosh, it's a really interesting one. Um, one surprise that I think that I've had because I am an, a huge fan of hers is Fleur actually she came back beautifully this week um I think everyone was pleased with her but I think she's had her confidence knocked and we need to see that joy in her again mm. because I think you can see at the back of people's eyes the little bit of fear coming through but I know at this time with the um, competition as well you're physically drained it's really really hard work your body has taken a lot on it's really really intense each week um but also the mental side of things where you know, you've got into the competition, it's really exciting, 
But now it's really important that you stay through because you really, really want to stay there. You want to get to the next week. Um, I don't know about Tony. Tony keeps flying through. So, you know, I, I feel like he's got the public on his side. Mm. I think he is just grateful to be there every week. So that's all fun. An interesting one as well was Tyler. They didn't like yes. him as much this week. Mm. Um, mm. I'm a big fan of Tyler and Diane. I think um, they're stunning and um, I didn't even notice like the shoulder coming forward. I was just like, I'd like to dance with him. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> same. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's a mix up. I, I mm. couldn't even predict it. What would you say now we're at this halfway point, who can you see making it to the final? And, you know, have you got any predictions on who you might think could be the winner this year? Oh gosh, winner. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm a huge fan of Hamza, love him. Angelita, yeah. Oh my god, she, um, for a brand new pro coming through as well, Yvita is just she's amazing, gorgeous, isn't yeah. she? Hamza, I would really really like to see in the final. Um, Helen and Gorka, I mean, I feel Edgy like was amazing, Edgy. wasn't it? So good, it was so slick, so clean. Um, the whole styling around it, the lighting. I mean, it was just, it was, I think that's probably one of my favourite jives ever because it was just so cool. I would have loved to do that. <laughs> yeah. So um, Helen and Hamza, I think definitely deserve to be in the final. Kim, I think, uh, potentially, but let's talk about Will as well. Yes. I mean, so when I first saw him, um, he can dance. The boy can dance. He's great. Um, I think, again, he's had his confidence knocked a little bit because mm. they said, you know, pull yourself back. Whereas it's so exciting to be on the programme. You can't help but give everything. You've been there. You got made it to the final. What would your advice be for the celebs who are, you know, edging closer to, to, that, to that time? Um, look after yourself. Make sure you sleep. Make sure you eat and you uh, feed your body with good things. It's a really tough time. I felt like it was almost training for the Olympics. It was a lot. It's a lot physically and mentally for you so yeah really really look after yourself make sure you've got your support of your friends and family make sure you get people voting I remember um Ore came into our rehearsal studio when we were um around this sort of stage and he just said coffee bananas and sleep <laughs> I love it <laughs> top three top three, top three. absolutely <laughs> <laughs> um, and we saw that recently um, Giovanni reshared your Halloween dance. What yeah. are your memories from that? And are you two still in contact? I mean, you had such a great partnership on the show. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're both busy people, but we do text from time to time. Um, I think because um, Halloween was so special for us, because it was the first ever couple's choice. Yeah. Um, and uh, we, he was so that. kind to me because he was just like, right, what do we do? And I said, well, obviously, you know, I've got the theatre background. Um, so he said, OK, our options are theatre jazz. Oh, so yeah. he was bringing something completely different to the table. It was a massive gamble because we didn't know how the uh, audiences would take it, whether they'd enjoy it, whether they'd allow it in a ballroom situation. Mm, um, so it was a massive, massive risk for us. Um, and he was so great and we had so much fun doing it. It was it was a little bit ridiculous in the uh, rehearsal room, <laughs> learning it. And then with the props and then um, I found it really tough to sort of do the end lift bit where I had to sort of jump on him. From, I mean, from, from the judges <laughs> table, I remember. Yeah. It was so good. Oh, so oh, good. Thanks so much for watching our Strictly Insider this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe and head over to hellomagazine.com for more news on Strictly. Bye.